today we're going to take a look into uh, Vue.js mixins because we have a lot of duplicate code on our validation and maybe some more on our uh, functionalities that we have but we don't have that many so probably just the validation but this is enough to have an idea of what mixins are and how you can use them obviously because like everything in programming every feature has some uh, pros and cons so we will start with pros but it's good to know that mixins has some cons too so for example i'm going to show you the cons when we uh, actually use mixins because it's easier to see and understand obviously so let's start by creating on our uh, src folder a new folder called uh, mixins so new directory called mixins and here we should have multiple javascript files or maybe if you have uh, a big application separated by folders it's your choice the thing about mixins is that it's used on vue.js obviously for um, reusing the javascript code only the javascript code a mixin is essentially just an object that looks exactly like a component javascript code so for example let's check what views we have with validation and see what we can reuse so let's go to pages and the profile one has some required rules and obviously the password rules and on our uh, out we have login which has the same thing password rules and email rules for register again email rules password rules and the name rules so we can make some changes to fit for example this password rules is the same with uh, the one from profile obviously but on profile we use uh, uh, password rules together with required rules so it's a bit of difference but we can make it work but let's check it out and see for example on profile we have these two uh these two arrays because they are arrays on data so we need them let's create the, our first mixing so let's say that we have our password validation let's say because we have we worked a lot of it with password we can have a password uh, mixing so let's say that we have a new javascript file called password validation dot js actually password validation mixing that and that js is implied because it's a javascript file here on a password validation mixing we just need to export a new object so let's say export default a new object which is basically uh, an object that we usually export from our uh, uh, view files on our script tag so for example this is the object that we export this could be all of this could be just a mixin so let's go back to password validation mixins and let's say that we have our data function because this is one on one with uh, uh, vue.js components so we have just to return a new object and which has for example let's go back to our profile these two uh, properties so let's copy that and let's put it inside our mixin okay this is a mixin let's see how we use this mixin let's go back to profile.view and let's import our mixin so we have our mixin import and since it is an export default we don't have to specify i mean we can put any name we want so let's say it's um password validation mixing from i think it is like that and it, once more to mixins and it is password validation mixing okay so we, we have our mixing imported but to use it inside the component because this is some uh, vj specific uh, property we have a new one called mixins which is an array of mixins so it's password validation mixing right now our password validation mixing is used so let's go to profile actually let's comment out our uh, required rules and password rules and let's go back to profile.view and let's check it out 
this will this required this is still working by the way if you don't have the server open you should so i think it's okay i have the server open and this is still working but as you can see or hopefully i hope you saw that this mix the cons of mixings one of the biggest one is that you don't know for example on our views we are using required rules and password rules yes we know because we wrote the code to where these properties are coming from from our password validation mixing but someone new don't know that and she has to check for example we can use multiple mixings and he has to check where is that property coming from and uh, for example if we have any errors it's not going to say you that it's from uh, somewhere else so this is pretty hard to debug that's why view free is going to come with a uh, composition api but this is some uh, other day issue so right now we have our this field is required and the password is too short and obviously we can just remove this because we have our mixing in place and it's going to work we, c we can even take this um, new password validator to put it inside the mix and just to uh, show you that it's still working so let's move this new password validator inside the uh, password validation mixing obviously we can't put it on at random places we need to put it inside methods property of this object like it was on our component obviously because um, this new password again the same issue we have this dot user on this method but we don't have any user inside our data this is going to work but when someone is going to use this mixing it's going to be an issue because he he should know that this dot user should be on its properties or or data doesn't matter but it should be available on this so this is pretty tricky and like i said that's why they had to remove mixings completely and use the composition api so on profile.view let's remove this and let's check it out it should be still working so new password is not confirmed and it's confirmed obviously this still works but like i said for example if i want to use this mixing again on uh, let's check out what we have we have our login that view so if i want to use on login that view this uh, mixing this is going to work and it's going to work pretty nicely because we have still the same names but the thing is that we are going to import another method that we don't use so again we can have multiple mixings and one mixing can use another mixing that's that's working it's totally working the thing is that it's if you don't know if you don't need a method just don't import it so basically we can have multiple ways to do this maybe we can uh, remove this again we don't need this method in multiple places so we can uh, control z everything i just did that to show you that it can and it works but like i said if you don't need it don't uh, use it so let's hit back okay we have our uh, method again on profile.view and password validation mixing it's working let's use it on our login.view so let's say that we have our import password validation mixing from i think it is mixings yeah password validation mixing okay and here mixings we have the password validation mixing pretty cool right so for example if we remove this right now it's still going to work so we have profile that view and login that view let's check forgot password forgot password has some email rules and again we can import these email rules the register one obviously uses the same password rules 
and email rules so we can use this on register too let's go to login and copy the import because we typed it already two times so it's all right to copy paste okay and let's use the mixians and it's password validation mixian and we can remove email rules and password rules Again, on reset password, we can do that too. For example, we can remove the password rules and email rules again. So let's go and copy the import. So again, mixins, password validation mixin. And let's remove these two rules. We have these required rules again. Maybe it's not the best choice since uh, we have uh, the this field is required rules. Oh, I see. We don't have the email rule here. We should have the email. We forgot about the email rules. So let's do that. How it was. Let's go to register actually. And let's hit back. And let's cut this uh, email rules and password rules and put it inside our password rules so right now we have this and obviously it's going to work okay so we have the required rules and since we have the required rules inside our password validation mixing because i didn't check uh, we can remove the required rules from password valid from reset password view too so oh, everything looks all right let's check the we don't have the name one and we should uh, keep it here because we are not having it uh on each view only one one or two okay login it's all right and obviously we can use the mixing for our uh, forgot password for this kind of uh, fields maybe we could have multiple for example email uh, validation mixing email or but if you see right here, this could be just a JavaScript array too, but I wanted to do it with mixins to show you uh, the power of them. This is, mixins are uh, pretty good, but like I said, it has a lot of cons, so it, it you have to be careful when you use it. So let's say import again. It's password validation mixin from mixins and obviously password validation mixin we have the mixins and the password validation mixin and we can remove the email rules which looks all right okay so profile that view let's check again the views and seems all right so right now we basically refactored everything for our uh, mixins and looks pretty nice. What we can do with mixins, for example, we have this uh, add notification each time, for example, and profile dashboard about reset password. Let's see, add notification again. Register, we have add notification again, login, add notification again, forgot password, add notification again. Maybe we can have a mix in, but right now it's not going to be important because only one action, it's all right to do it like that. It's still like a mix in if you think like that, because map actions is just an array that is spreading. So it's not that much, but for example, if we had like two actions or three actions, common actions, obviously, we could make a mixing and use map actions inside our mixing methods. And we are going to, it's, this, this will be a good case. Okay. So I think I will, we should commit our changes. So let's commit our changes and let's say, add 
mixins for password validation fields. Let's commit our changes. I think we are going to stop here today because on the next episode I want to prepare the uh, he can helper because we need a can edit, can see dashboard, can view dashboard maybe, I'm not, I'm not sure. And for the permissions, so we need to set up that uh, thing on, on the next episode and it's going to be pretty long. So thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this kind of videos please subscribe, leave a like, maybe comment and let's see each other on the next one.